Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. I'm going to be showing you how to make this candle holder set along with a couple of other DIYs. So for this first one, you will need one mirror frame from the Dollar Tree, bling wrap, three mirrored coasters, three candles, two small glass cups, and a tall vase all from the Dollar Tree. This glitter paper I got from Hobby Lobby for a dollar when it was 50% off, but if you go and it's not 50% off, there's always a 40% off coupon you can use. You will need rocks, and I have paint I will use to paint the frame since my Dollar Tree was out of the black mirrored frames and black rocks. If your Dollar Tree has the black rocks and mirrored frame, then you can skip this step. I went ahead and got a Ziploc bag, poured the rocks in, and poured the paint inside and shook it. I put the rocks outside in the sun to dry meanwhile I finish the rest of the DIY so they're ready when I'm done. You can keep your frame as it is if you like it silver and the white rocks, but for me I just wanted to paint it all dark. Also, go ahead and take the mirror out if you're going to paint it. It'll save you some time to have to clean the mirror off from the paint, but it comes right off with paper towel and water. Now grabbing the glitter paper, I'm going to fold it so it can fit in the flower vase, and then I'm going to leave it about 2 inches of space from the bottom so you can see the rocks. When I see where I want the paper to go, I'll cut a piece and repeat the same steps for the next two glasses. For the candles, I want to bling them up a bit, so I'm going to get the bling wrap and measure to see how much I will need and then use that piece I measured to cut two more strips. Taking the hot glue gun, I'm going to put a drop and stick the bling wrap on. Since this is a wax candle, the hot glue is sliding a little bit, so be careful to not burn yourself. Now that the rocks have dried, I went ahead and put them in the vase, and now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue the top of the vase and add the mirror. For the glue that you see dripping down, once you put the mirror on top, go ahead and pull the remaining off. And here's the final result of the candle holder set. This would have been done so much quicker if I had the black mirror frame and the black rocks, but it was still worth it. It was quick and easy, plus it was fun to paint it since I love to do so. I also added bling wrap to the frame to match the candles. This set can be used for any occasion, whether it's for your home, a party, or a wedding on a budget. The ideas are endless. Where would you style this set in your home? This could also be used.
how my letters came out you guys to me they came out so beautiful and i was inspired because i saw a lot of these letters for sale online and some of them were pretty expensive so i thought i could make them for way less in the color and flowers that i want so i just added a little bit of green leaves from the roses to give it a little extra pop of spring these letters are my baby girl's first and middle name initials. If you're wondering where the pink rug is from, it's by Lorena Cannell's Rugs. I absolutely love it. I had to share it with y'all because this is going on our baby girl's nursery. When I saw this, I knew it was perfect for her nursery. This rug was gifted by Lorena Cannell's. They were so kind to send this to me and what I absolutely love is that this rug is machine washable so anytime it has a mess, I can just put it right in the washer and dryer. The second thing that I love most about it is that it has a light pink heart cushion that's attached to the rug so when her baby girl gets older, she can just lean against it for story time or just to relax. It's super soft, made with all natural dyes and handmade. The heart shape is so adorable. I've never seen a rug like this in this shape and they just have so many beautiful designs to choose from. This is how the rug came packaged before I opened it. I just wanted to share how it looked like with you all. For the last DIY, I'm going to show you how to make something super simple and beautiful. You do not need any hot glue, everything you can do by hand. So first thing you will need are four acrylic gem bags, one LED tea light candle box, one bag of rocks, satin ribbon, a flower vase, and flowers of your choice. I already had this hydrangea from our wedding I wanted to display. Grabbing the rocks, just place them in the vase and then grab the acrylic gems and layer them until you're out of each one. Then add the box of gems and place the LED candle that comes in the box in the middle of the gems. Here I'm tying the ribbon to give it a nice complete look and this is the final result. It's so beautiful and very minimal and simple DIY to make. It looks so girly and glam. Let me know what you think. I really like how it turned out. You can place this anywhere. Here's another example of where you can place it in your entryway and this is what it looks like with the LED light on. I also put water in the vase. This light is waterproof and here's another view of how it looks like with one of the lights turned off. Let me know which DIY was your favorite. I had so much fun making these for you all. I hope they inspired you in any way. Thank you so much for watching and all your continued love and support. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you on my next video. Have a super blessed day.